Okay, what went wrong for the boys out there today? Um, it'd be easy just to uh, sum it up with everything we did uh, last week, we didn't do today. Um, the basics of football, um, competing for the first contacts, winning the second balls, um, putting the opposition under pressure. Um, there's a difference between um, hoping it happens and making it happen. And uh, the way we started the game, I thought we hoped it would happen. Uh, we didn't make it happen, and obviously we lost the game. What did you put that down to? Uh, well, it's down to our choices and our mindset. That's that's all it is. It's um, you know we went with the only change we we had to make through um, uh, Gossie missing out today. We we stuck with the same team because of what they did last week and how they've trained. And um, yeah, it's down to a choice to for a player to understand. Um, what I did well last week, start from a base of um, of the basics of football, and um, if we take our off out and think actually I'm, I'm a little bit better than the basics, then you, you get get what we got today, and it was um, we didn't deserve anything from the game. Um, we were beaten, and um, and we have to make sure that it doesn't happen um, too often because we will float around in the average positions. Um, because one week we're as we were last week and another week we're like today and um, that's the stark contrast um, that we have at the moment and we have to um, make sure that we get rid of this mindset as quick as possible because it's, it's damaging what could be a very good season because we've already shown what a good team we can be. How much a shock to the system is seeing that out from the boys today? Um, I want to say it was a shock, but I don't think it's the first time that we've um, played poorly against a team that's um, struggled for results. And um, you know we can rise to, against any opponent in, in this division, um, but we can also um, drop against a, a level of opponent, and that's in the mind. It's purely in the mind, so we have to fix that because um, it's not the first time it's happened. So we have to make sure that we fix it, however we fix it, but we will fix it because um, there's no one going to tell me that um, Dundee have more quality than us, um, but they deserve to win the game today. There's no time to dwell. There's a game on Tuesday night. How important is it that the boys put that behind them as quickly as possible and put in a better performance on Tuesday? Um, put it behind us or, or keep it in our stomachs. I know what I'd... I'd well, I know what I've got no choice of doing because it will be there in the pit of my stomach and, until we get rid of it by winning games. It was the same as it was three weeks ago when um, we had that humbling defeat at home that um, you know we didn't we didn't shove it under the carpet. We actually acted on it and we've used it as, as fuel. And today has to be used as fuel, but we don't want the, these games every two or three games to have to kickstart our mentality and our approach to games. It's, it's got to come from our daily habits and our daily approach to training and games. Once you cross that white line, it should be all in. And um, if we just come off it 10%, I wouldn't say we, we, we went there and, and chucked it or anything like that, but we come off 10% and it's a big drop for us. Um, so we have to make sure that we're at maximum effort and commitment and, and mindset and focus. And um, when we're that, we're a very good team and that's what we have to show on Tuesday. Thank you, Ken. Okay.